September 7, Monday of the 23rd week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke On a certain Sabbath, Jesus went into the synagogue and taught, and there was a man there whose right hand was withered. The scribes and the Pharisees watched him closely to see if he could cure on the Sabbath so that they might discover a reason to accuse him. But he realized their intentions and said to the man with the withered hand, Come up and stand before us. And he rose and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I ask you, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? Looking around at them, he then said to him, Stretch out your hand. He did so, and his hand was restored. But they became enraged and discussed together what they might do to Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord To do good on the Sabbath, the Latin axiom says, Ubi maior minor cesat, where there is the greater, the lesser ceases. This applies to the question of life and human limb. Jesus' action of curing the man with a withered hand is justified in this sense. Restoration of the physical health is more valuable than the sabbatical rule of not working on the Sabbath. It simply shows that human wholeness is of paramount importance for Jesus. A parallel account in Matthew says, that if a sheep falls into pit on the Sabbath, it will be rescued. How much more valuable a person is than a sheep? So it is lawful to do good on the Sabbath. Jesus comes to restore man's relationship with God, both spiritually and physically. Earlier in Luke, Jesus made it clear to the Pharisees and teachers of the law that he not only heals but also forgives sins telling the paralytic your sins are forgiven i say to you rise pick up your stretcher and go home the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing <music>